This is Deerfield, Colorado. It is a ghost town. In Colorado, most ghost towns are in the mountains. Deerfield is on the eastern plains between Greeley and Fort Morgan. In those mountain towns, people looked for gold and silver. Here in Deerfield, people were not looking for gold or silver. They were looking for freedom. Freedom from discrimination, financial freedom, and freedom to make their own decisions about their own future. Deerfield, Colorado was a community of all black homestead farmers. About 100 years ago, 200 African Americans called Deerfield home. Deerfield started as a dream of one man. That man was Oliver Toussaint Jackson. Oliver Toussaint Jackson, also known as O.T. Jackson, moved from Ohio to Colorado in 1887. Jackson became messenger for over 20 years for five Colorado governors. Booker T. Washington and his book Up From Slavery inspired O.T. Jackson to start a black farming community. Jackson made a claim for land through the Homestead Act. After looking in Laramie and Elbert counties, he settled on this land in Weld County. At a meeting in 1909, Dr. West Westbrook of Denver said that the fields would become very dear to us, suggesting the name Deerfield for the homestead community. The buildings testified to the harsh weather settlers faced at Deerfield. Jackson had no water rights to the nearby South Platte River for irrigation. They depended on winter snows and summer rains for their crops. Although the homesteaders faced cold and brutal winters, those winters actually turned out to be a blessing because they brought much needed moisture for their crops. Deerfield prospered in the 1910s. Deerfield became a destination for African Americans from Denver for the weekends to enjoy food, dances, and music. When Jackson established the town, Deerfield's land was valued at $25,000. By 1921, Deerfield's net worth was over a million dollars. This was Deerfield's zenith. Sadly, in the 1920s, food prices fell and the weather became drier. In the 1930s, the Dust Bowl only sped up to the decline of Deerfield. The population that was 200 in 1921 fell to just 12 in 1940. Oliver Toussaint Jackson passed away in 1948. <laughs> Recently, a half-million-dollar grant from the National Park Service was rewarded to those trying to preserve Deerfield. O.T. Jackson dreamed that Deerfield would continue. With hope and help, Deerfield will continue, becoming very dear to Colorado, educating and inspiring all Americans. Music